present the Paris Television News headline. I am Kenny Omoshibi. Shell Petroleum Development Company, joint venture, Shell Nigerian Exploration and Production paid $1.1 billion to the Nigerian government in form of royalties and corporate taxes in 2017. The company said the 2017 Sustainability Report that it has contributed $23 billion to the Nigerian economy from 2013 to 2017. Shell says that the 94% of the company's contracts in Nigeria were awarded to Nigerian companies in 2017. The report shows that since launching in the 1950s, the Shell Company's Nigerian scholarship scheme has supported thousands of students to study both in Nigeria and abroad. The Bank of Agriculture and Central Bank have sealed an e-banking agreement as part of an effort to renew agriculture in the country. Enterprise Television gathered that the agreement was signed at the Federal Ministry of Agriculture in Abuja. The Banking Director Chief Executive Officer, Central Bank Nigeria Limited, Muhammad Jibril, and the CEO of Bank of Agriculture, Kabri Adamo, signed for their respective bank during the event. It was gathered that the deal will allow Central Bank to deploy its innovative banking services to simplify BOE services to its farmers, customers across its 140 branches in the country. In Zimbabwe, Nigerian billionaire Aliko Dangote has decided to renew his interest in pursuing his $1.5 billion investment in the country. Enterprise television learned that he has sent an advanced team comprising geologists expected to be in Zimbabwe for 10 days. The delegation is expected to meet President Managawa and with the Chingandu Mines and Mining Development Minister. However, Dangote Industry Senior Geologist Dr. Noraj Kumar said they were interested in mining coal. World Bank raised the 2018 economic growth forecast for South Africa to 1.4% from earlier for cost of 1.1% growth. The international lender said the improved focus was supported by rise in confidence and global growth. Enterprise Television brings us to memory that the World Bank previous report says the economy of Sub-Saharan Africa was seen growing more slowly than previous forecast. This is largely due to weak investment and productivity. Chinese <laughs> President Xi Jinping said the government would lower tariffs of VT imports this year. He says this is part of an effort to further open its giant economy to the world. The pledge addresses one of the graves of U.S. President Donald Trump, who has threatened to impose new tariffs on $150 billion of Chinese goods in a trade dispute between the world's two largest economies. As part cautioned that Xi's comments may not do much to resolve the conflict, which has rocked markets in recent weeks. However, other analysts said Xi's remarks could help lay the groundwork for a company. Moving <laughs> down to sports. Western chain and pizza delivery company Domino's has entered into a partnership with India Premier League 2020 cricket team with your challenges Bangalore. Domino's has been named as an official partner of RCB, which is branding to feature on the arm of team shirt during the 2018 RPL season. Domino's will also receive in-stadium advertising exposure during the matches as a part of the deal, which marks the company's first partnership with an IPL team. To promote the partnership, Dominos will launch a television advertising campaign featuring RCB players along with digital marketing campaigns. And that's with an enterprise television news headline. For more news of this special report and our shows, visit our website www.enterprisetv.tv. Our social media platform are always there for your own information in the world of business. I am Kenny Omar Many thanks for watching.